Hi, thank you for joining me today. We are going to talk about the calculate nutrients option. There have been some questions about this. When the FDA introduced the new nutrition labeling regulations, that included, in some cases, different units of measure that are required on the label or different standards, like the daily values that are used to calculate percent DV. And so in your current recipes, it's possible that you have the data for the old units of measure or standards. What the calculate nutrients option does is convert those automatically. So the calculator, the nutrient calculator, we call it, offers formulas for carbs, new dietary fiber fields, vitamin A, vitamin B3, vitamin D, vitamin E, niacin equivalents, folate or folic acid, and tryptophan. Sometimes the, it's a one-to-one -one calculation, but when it's not, the calculator will walk you through decisions that you have to make, like, is this vitamin A coming from an animal source or a plant source? Um, in this example, I'm going to show you how to convert vitamin A on the ingredient level, although the same principles will apply to the recipe level. So I have this salad ingredient open, and I'm looking at the nutrient data as it would appear on a U.S. label. I see that there's no data for RAE, which is the current unit of measure and which will be required for displaying vitamin A on your label. There is, however, data for vitamin A in IUs and microgram REs. So rather than having to calculate the correct RAE by hand, I can just click Calculate Nutrients. And then the Calculate Nutrients window opens up showing the nutrient fields that can be calculated based on fields that are already populated. When I check vitamin A, and click calculate, it prompts me to choose which of the available calculation options I want to use. So I know that the source of this vitamin A is from an all animal or all retinol source, and I'm going to use the original IU value to calculate it, so I choose that option. And then it kicks me back over here where I can see that the RAE is populated and the percent DB is populated. Now remember, we can do this for other nutrients like carbohydrates, the new fibers, vitamin D, and so forth. This concludes the tutorial. Thank you.